Unfortunately, youth employment has taken a hit. About 35% of young people are employed. I think the numbers are actually even lower um, for members of racial and ethnic minority groups. And so programs like this take on a real important significance during these kinds of times. Teenagers, they need to be able to see what their future could possibly hold because they're just told these things like, oh, you know, you could become a doctor or you could become a teacher or, you know, you could become a firefighter, but what opportunities are they, be, are, are they being given so that they can, you know, see what it is like. I think all companies should be employing high school student programs to give these students opportunities that they would never have. And I really do think that the earlier you do this, the more motivated they become. They do better academically. They do better with their college applications. It's really a recipe for success. The biggest surprise that I had in SSGP was not knowing I'd be thrown right into a department. I knew that I was going to be able to shadow, you know, nurses and physicians, but I didn't know I was going to really be assigned to a department. I first said, well, I don't want to be in like the ER because it's, it's too gory. I don't know if I can stand it. And then I opened up my pamphlet. I remember it was a red pamphlet. I remember it like yesterday. You are assigned to the emergency department. And I was like, oh my goodness, like what am I gonna do? But then really I was able to see how a department is run. Boston Public School System has been an extraordinary partner. Uh, the partnership that we've had with the high schools in the city and the PIC has been the convener, the conduit to us and the, and the students in those schools. And they become that bridge between young people and the opportunities here and um, the hospital and the schools. Well, I think the most surprising thing for me is the unlimited potential that high school students have. Many people think of high school students as, you know, in the process of learning, but they're not really mature enough to handle being in the workplace. What I've come to find is that there are many, many uh, instances in which students are motivated, they're smart, and they will eat up anything you give them. They love learning. My experience with SSJP influenced my career trajectory by really showing me what nursing is. Originally I said, I want to be a nurse. I love caring for people. My mom was, was a home health aide. I have nurses in my family. But then I said, do I, is this something that I really want to do? And then being exposed to the profession, being exposed to nurses, being exposed to what they do every day and being the first and last person that a patient sees and really appreciating their practice really influenced me to go to nursing school and to be able to become a nurse. What I've found with most of my SSJP students is that they stay in touch and still seek mentorship 10 years after they've graduated from high school. And so it's really exciting, it's really rewarding, and, and it's a lot of fun. And I've learned so much from these students. For all the reasons that this program is a value to the Brigham, um, I think it'll be an incredible value to other employers. We all face the challenges of trying to diversify our workforces. We all face the challenges of trying to hire locally. Um, and, and this is an opportunity to, number one, do that, but number two, give back. And, um, and I think no matter what your business is, I think that's an imperative. We, as inner city kids, need to take advantage of and just, you know, go at it because we can do those things. We can become the next plastic surgeons and the next presidents and the next legislators. We can be all those people as long as we put our minds to it and we grow from that, from that whole stereotype thing that we have based around us because of society, I think that we can become people in life and we can, we can change that, we can change that.